In this video we are going to transform the cover of the Elegoo Saturn from this into this. If you want to know how I did it then check out this video. So the first thing that we need to do is measure out on both sides the exact distance for uh, for the doors so where the doors are going to start and open on the front like that I'm going to use this triangle and a permanent marker and I'm going to measure two inches to start with starting point and both sides are measured out equally we are going to cut along this line from the bottom I'm going to leave maybe one inch and a half and from the top a quarter of an inch in that case if we leave a border that will give us uh, more stability if we're going to cut the door open um, just um, to the bottom it could happen that um, yeah it will be deformed but we when you leave a band like that you ensure you have stability you, you either way you have the height of the resin tank where you don't need to be uh, to remove the build plate So everything is measured out and as you can see between the purple masking tape is where the door is going to be split in half of course. But now we have a good reference point and the next step is on both sides we are going to uh, cut it with a Dremel and afterwards we are going to connect these joints while the door is still in perfect position so for starters we are going to cut along this line only on both sides okay so let's continue So the next step is to uh, attach these joints and I will be measuring uh, one and a half inch from both corners. Thank you. 
now that we have drilled out the holes, I test fitted everything and uh, it's uh, fitting all perfectly. Now it's time to take a rivet and your rivet pliers and secure everything in place. Okay, so the next step is to uh, measure out the middle. Uh, if you have an Elegoo Saturn, don't be mistaken, the bottom is slightly wider than the upper part. So let's say if you are measuring five and a half inches in the middle, that doesn't mean that five and a half inches will be uh, the middle at the top. So uh, you need to measure both the bottom and the top side. I already did that. I'm going to apply uh, masking tape. And then we are going to draw a line at the masking tape to point out the middle. I'm going to start by uh, carving out the middle section first and then we are going to continue carving out the bottom and top part of the doors. Now that everything has been carved out, you can see that the doors are opening fairly easy and gives you enough space to take out the build plate, to fill the resin vat without uh, having to uh, lift the cover every time you want to access the, the build plate or the resin vat. Because yeah, if you have this, uh, if you're using this Saturn cover by default you need a lot of top space to lift the cover every time you want to access the printer and uh, with these doors which reminds me of my frozen transform resin printer that I have um, yeah it's still relatively stable and strong enough I'm also going to create some uh, self-designed uh, small handles to uh, open the printer so now it's time to uh, remove the masking tape every everywhere and with the uh, with some uh, fine sandpaper we're going to sand the edges a little bit 
see uh, we have cut out the doors from the cover and there is a, a gap of course this should be around the thickness of your blade are we going to fill up that gap as much as possible um, and for that I'm going to use this uh, self adhesive foam tape it's barely one millimeter but it should be enough to uh, close the gap even further between the doors and the cover. The cover itself it's around three millimeters of thickness and this is five so I'm going to cut it into half and glue it on the doors only. So I took some baking paper and glued on two strips of this self-adhesive foam tape and now we are going to cut it in the middle. And the baking tape is uh, that will make it much easier to remove afterwards. So the uh, adhesive tape has been glued on on the doors and as you can see it, al it already fills up the gap relatively good. Um, this is always better of course because uh, we don't want uh, sunlight to penetrate between those gaps. Um, on the other hand you're not going to put your resin printer directly in the sun because you have to remove the cover anyway but uh, yeah, it's already looking good the next step is applying this uh, yeah, textile adhesive tape on both the doors and the cover <laughs>
Okay, everybody, the custom cover for the Aleku Saturn is finished. I'm very pleased with the outcome. Um, it's it's very practical. You need just a minimal of space uh, before you um, had to make sure that you have enough space above the uh, printer because you need to remove it upwards. But with these two doors, the needed space is a minimum. I can easily access the knob for removing the build plate if I need to uh, clean it. I can easily remove the flex plate. I can access the two screws if I want to remove the resin tank. Again, I have access to everything that I need. And everything is closing perfectly. We have no gaps whatsoever. Uh, I thought of using magnets, but like I said, everything is staying in place as it is. It won't move. So there you have it, everybody. The custom built uh, doors from the stock cover of the Elego Saturn. Maybe Elego can learn um, from this and implement this in future 3D printers because again it eliminates the extra space that is needed for lifting up the cover. If you have any questions please put them down below in the comments. I will be happy to answer them for you as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. If you want to support my channel, um, please feel free to become a YouTube or Patreon member. This will help me to uh, create more videos in the future. So that was it for today, everybody. Um, I will see you all in my next video. And with that being said, Dear Builders, signing out. Bye, everybody.